Welcome to my channel. I'm Niche Vip, and today I'm going to give you a hardware review. Now, the hardware in question is the Hermetic RDA by Blitz Enterprises in collaboration with Suck My Mod. Now, there's not much I can show you on there, to be honest. That's just the packaging. If it, it zooms it in. And that's that now this has been provided for all the purposes of review by eSig click much appreciate eSig click for that um, now we'll go up close personal down on the table and have a look um, afterwards as always give you my thoughts the pros the cons and all that sort of good stuff so without further ado let's go down to the table and have a look so here we are up close with the Hermetic RDA. As you can see from the top, we've got the alchemy symbol. Looking at the tin, because it comes in a little tin, you see the Blitz Enterprises logo and the Suck My Mod logo on the bottom. Bridged airflow technology with leak resistant design. Obviously it says there, mine's a sample, yours won't be when you buy it. All the uh, relevant social media links there, blitzvapes.com, Blitz Enterprises on Facebook and Instagram. On the bottom it'll tell you exactly what it is, the Blitz Hermetic RDA. So as we take off the lid, you've got the RDA sitting in the middle there. Take that out and we take away the form insert. You've got the beauty ring there. As you can see inside, inserted around the edge is the user manual. We'll take that out in a moment. Inside a little a bag inside you've got the hermetic tool that's to open the clamp on top of the deck as you'll see in a short while you've got a spare clamp 510 pin adapter you've got squonk pin and a spare deck clamp screw also in there obviously you've got your spare o-rings and all that sort of business lovely so let's take this manual out i must admit i like the uh the packaging of this it's nice tiny compact and i love the little tin it's, re it's really nice to be honest so here we go Hermetic RDA user manual. It's pretty basic. It says what it is. The Hermetic RDA is an exciting collaboration between Blitz Enterprises and Suck My Mod. There you go, bringing you a top notch vaping experience, either as a dripper or as a squonker. You've got the basic blow up picture there of the RDA itself, beauty ring, build deck, ceramic clamp, top cap, and you've got your 810 drip tip. You've got all the information down here of um, sizes and what have you 24 millimeter with the beauty ring on 22 millimeter without and on the other side French so let's take it to pieces just take the top cap off there If any of you have got the Ghoul by Blitz, you'll 
immediately see that this is very very similar indeed anyway back to the top cap you've got obviously 810 drip tip there very nice marble effect and you've got the top cap itself let me get the pointy thing here obviously you've got the little rubber o-ring in there airflow single airflow halfway up the top cap you've got no airflow anywhere else you've got the design there on the front of the alchemist symbol and inside you've got there just a little lip so when you place it down onto the deck it sort of seals we see inside it's very well made very well made indeed now let's have a look at this deck as as i say if you've had the ghoul before it's very similar the only difference is obviously the the airflow and everything here the deck itself and it's missing air intake at the back there you've got your clamp here you've got your legs from your coils go either side here we've got the airflow system as they call it a bridged airflow and a huge huge juice well so whether you're squonking or whether you're dripping it performs quite well if you can just see down there when you put your squonk pin in the liquid comes from that side and that side so you've got either side really was is where your e-liquid comes in from squonks very well drips very well so your airflow comes in if you can see from here it's slightly angled down the airflow comes in and then coming up from here angled up and straight up again so you've got an angled here hitting sort of like the bottom side of your coil and then you've got the two rows of airflow here hitting directly underneath obviously when you put I won't put it on directly because it'll be a bugger to get back off again in fact I will you put that in there I'll put that on a mod a minute now a bit of a gripe obviously you're gonna alter your airflow but again a lot of ideas are coming out now with like a little pin inside to lock or give you a certain distance of where you can turn it from with this you go like that alter your airflow now you want to alter it back oh it's going to prove me wrong this time usually it's obviously with the idea and it, it spins round but it it spins all the way around now a lot have got a locking pin where it sort of goes to a certain distance and stops and all that sort of business so anyway, i'll take that back off so what we'll do i'll move this out slightly so we can see the deck there we go what we'll do if i can find the bloody bag see what i said before about this little little key inside the bag get that unscrew this ceramic clamp and then obviously you can pull the clamp up put your coil inside so i've got just your bog standard a fuse clapton put that in there now you want to get your coil jig put your coil jig in and it sits there you go 
it sits exactly with that little you've got I didn't show you before did I you've got a little ridge there you sit your coil jig in you can't go wrong it places it exactly where it wants you to place the coil tighten that up now there's no need for any leg length measuring or anything like that tighten that up I bet you I haven't got my snips obviously any excess you can see at the back there just get your snips in there snip that off snip that off nothing there if you can see your coils placed nicely just above the airflow so we'll bed these in camera needs to move out slightly that's a bit better perfect perfect so get the cotton throw everything on the floor now what I've been doing I'll cut to just the bottom o-ring And again, on the other side, just to the bottom o-ring. Spread these out a bit. And I've been doing this thinning it out thin it out so you've not got loads of cotton especially if you're squonking you don't want a shitload of cotton in the bottom because if you do you're not going to get a lot of juice in there it's all going to be soaked up and all that sort of business so thin it out a bit take the edges off tuck it down either side There you go, all ready and good to go. Top cap on. Jobs are good. As I say, there's not a lot to see. It's pretty basic. You've got your single air inlet. You've got the bridged airflow underneath your coil. You can't go wrong where you put the coil. The coil, the, the more or less tell you where to put the coil. You get your coil jig in. It sits nicely. Sits above the airflow. And gives you decent flavour. I just, I'll talk about it a bit later on. But I just think that they took a couple of millimetres off here. A couple of millimetres off the top cap. Made it slightly more of a condensed RDA you get better better flavor from it as I say I'll talk about it in a short while but the flavor from it is it's okay it's nothing special it's decent flavor 
but I do feel that it could have been made better. So there you go. Up close look at the Hermetic RDA. See you back up top, guys. So there you have an up close and personal with the Hermetic RDA made by Blitz Enterprises in collaboration with Suck My Mod. Now, what do I think? Well, obviously, up close and personal, if you've ever had the ghoul RDA from Blitz, you immediately think, fuck me, that's exactly the same. Well, it's not exactly the same, but you can say it's based on the ghoul design with different airflow. Now, what do I think of it? It vapes, vapes well, but like when I did my review for E Sig Click, I put it all in there, and yes, it's a good RDA, but it doesn't do anything extra special. It doesn't do anything to make it stand out from the crowd, as I put in my written review there. You put 10 RDAs on a table and ask me to pick two or three. I don't think I will pick it. Now, that being said, it's not bad at all. I haven't got no cons with this idea. It's a bit noisy when you when you're taking a vape ish. Have a listen, see if you can see if you can pick it up. It's a bit turbulent. That's it. That's the only con I've got with it. it, it it's a well-built, well-designed RDA. Um, it's well-machined and everything like that. It is really good quality. It's got the nice design on the front. The alchemy design. Uh, but certainly doesn't make this RDA magic. Now, the airflow is good. The coil placement is good. It sits, as I showed you on the close-up, it sits perfectly over the air airflow from the deck. Obviously, the air comes in from the side, down, along, and up. It hits the coil at the bottom perfectly. Huge juice well, which is a plus point. The airflow, it's great design, lads, juice well, and for a beginner or anybody really, the, the coil placement is superb. You put obviously um, your coil jig in there with the coil on, put it in, it just sits there nice. It, it, it's guided into place. Clamp it down, cut off at the back, you, no need for coil measuring tools or anything like that. You just chip, uh, cut your excess um coil legs at the back and it's great now the flavor from it is good it's not bad flavor but it's not excellent i just feel that if it was shortened slightly if the rda was the top cap was shortened slightly you could possibly get a better tasting vape from it now, as I said, it's not bad. The, the flavour from it isn't bad at all. You get decent flavour, but it could be better. I think by reducing the size of that top cap, you've certainly got a little bit of room in there to reduce the size, reduce the well, bring it all down a little bit. Now, the, the well in here is massive. Superb for squonking. Didn't have a problem when I was using the RDA for squonking at all. Now, my preferred method with this RDA has been, has been dripping. Now, it says it's virtually leak proof. Well, it is. You have to drip or squonk a hell of a lot um, to get it to leak. And then it's only a little bit. You really can't fault it on that at all. But for me 
it doesn't do anything special it doesn't do anything to make it stand out from well a flooded market of rdas out there there's there's thousands of different rdas out there each of you have your own personal favorites um but it's a good well-rounded rda well machined it looks good well priced i think the cheapest i've found this is 21 pounds 99 from vaping 101 now as usual i won't put any links down below because i might get a slap on the wrist there you have it really uh the hermetic rda i suppose it ticks all the right boxes but it, it doesn't overachieve in any of them really um a decent rda single coil rda decent flavor well built well designed but apart from that would i have would i go out and buy it i know i got this uh sent in for review by ec click would i go out and buy it i don't think i would i don't well i wouldn't i wouldn't go out and buy it personally and that's it as always guys thank you for watching really really appreciate it please like and share if you haven't already hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell for any future uploads as always appreciate it for you watching um whatever you're doing wherever you are have a cracking day guys and i'll see you all again later cheers